We're at Heinz Field, the Steelers' home since 2001. This stadium has sold out every game it's hosted, just like its predecessor did throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Tom Hammond here, and beside me, Chris Collinsworth. Thanks for joining us for this AFC North showdown. Let's head down to the field now for the opening kickoff. Graham places the ball on the tee and will get ready to kick this one off. Booming kick. Takes it at the four. From their own 26-yard line. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. Drops back on first down. He rolls left. Steps out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Parker caught that one for a gain of seven. Close call here. Was he in? Was he out? If he was in, did he have control of the football before going out? Well, obviously, they saw something or they wouldn't have challenged this. And remember, it has to be conclusive visual evidence to overturn the call on the field. So let's see. Use all of the field when passing. Make sure the defense can't just sit there on any particular route. The Cincinnati Bengals line up in a 4-3. Pitch left. He can't bring him down. Yeah, they guessed wrong on that one. They thought it was going to be a play inside. They slanted those tackles in, got caught to the outside. And when you get an athlete in the open field like that, look out. He almost broke that one. From their own 38-yard line. The Bengals go with a four-man front. He looks to throw on first down. Rolling right. And he caught it. Gain of 10. Second down and less than a yard now. The Cincinnati Bengals come out in a 4-3. The halfback with the carry. He had him in the backfield, but just couldn't hold on. No question about it. That one looked like a loss all the way. He made one defender miss and picked up that first down. First down, 10 to go. The Bengals go with a four-man front. Here's a counter play. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Second and long situation coming up here. The Cincinnati Bengals come out in a 4-3. A little misdirection. The defense held their position and didn't let him get away on that one. Third down play. They have to get it to at least the 35-yard line for a fresh set of downs. The Bengals line up with a nickelback. He drops back. Defense closing in. And the pass falls incomplete. And even though that one doesn't go down as a sack, that's one of those that the quarterback remembers and probably rushes him just a little bit on the next throw. Number nine is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. And it will go out of bounds. Right. 
Right. First down, 10 to go. Ace backfield this time. Here's the give. Fumble on the play. It's picked up. And a great job by the defense to recover the fumble. Eleven yards out. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. Still pushing. He's in for the score. That guy picked up a lot of yardage on that run. Yeah, give the offensive line a little credit. They created the initial hole, but after that, it was all the running back. That's the reason this guy is so popular in this league.